Hey guys, welcome back. Jennifer Jenkins here. <laughs> oh my God, I've never ever said that before. I don't know why I just said that. I must be watching too many other people's <laughs> videos or something and maybe that's how they introduce themselves. Um, I don't know why, I don't ever say my name um, in the beginning of my videos or at the end or ever. <laughs> but you know what? That's because my channel is my name and usually I have my name like somewhere in the frame. So, but I don't know, <laughs> maybe I should formally introduce myself. My name is Jennifer Jenkins. Um, Jennifer with one N. I know I've said that before. Anyways, okay, that's totally off topic. Okay, so um, welcome back. <laughs> welcome to my channel. Okay, so I just went and um, I just realized that, I'm, that I wasn't wearing my wedding ring and I didn't have my fingernails painted. Um, and I did not take the time to go paint my fingernails, but I did go put on my wedding ring because I feel so weird sometimes. Like, if ever I go to the grocery store or, you know, wherever, outside of this house, and I'm not wearing my wedding ring or I don't have my kids with me, I feel like I'm just like this walking liar. <laughs> you know, it feels so weird. I feel like I'm completely misrepresenting myself or something like that. So anyways, I just went and popped it on real fast. But, um, okay, so the product that I'm going to be talking about today is... It's made by a company called Color Science, and it's a brush-on sunscreen, and it's a mineral powder. And it's so interesting, and I'm so excited about this. And the coolest thing about it is that one of my subscribers had suggested this product to me. And I don't remember who it was that suggested um, this product. I went back to my comments, and I, I didn't even know what video it was on, so I was just really trying to search to see who it was. And I'm sorry, but you know who you are, so I really appreciate it because I really love this product. And um, like I said, it's a brush on sunscreen. This is an SPF of 50, um, and it says sun forgettable, which I think is so cute. It's such a cute little play on words. Um, but it broad, it says it's a broad spectrum SPF 50, and it protects from UVA and UVB rays. They also have an SPF of 30. Um, so if you go to their website, you know, one thing I want to tell you is that this is not cheap at all. It was like, if you go to their website, you can purchase it for $65, which is a little bit out of my price range. I typically like to stay well below $30 for no, pretty much anything <laughs> because I'm frugal, which is just a nice way of saying cheap. Actually, you know what? I'm not cheap. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit cheap, but not really. I mean, obviously I just got Restylane, you know, six months ago that cost a thousand dollars. So it's, it's all about like whether or not it's worth it to me. You know, if I can find uh, something comparable or some sort of dupe, then, then I'm going to buy it because, because it's all about whether I think spending the money is necessary or unnecessary. In this case, it is necessary because I absolutely hate using sunscreen. I just, oh my gosh. I mean, hold on, let me preface this with, I will never ever go to a pool or go to a park or be any near any body of water without applying 50 or above sunscreen. And I'm gonna goop it on as heavy as I can because I'm smart and I wanna take care of my skin and stuff like that. But day to day, oh my gosh, I hate putting it, I hate putting a sunscreen under my foundation. I just, I don't like the way that it feels. Usually it's too thick, usually it's too greasy or something like that. There's maybe one or two that I like, um, but even the, even the ones that I do like, I still don't like putting them on my skin. I mean, I just, I would rather, especially if I'm just going, going to be running, you know, to the grocery store or to go pick up my kids or something like that, then I'm just gonna rely on the SPF that my foundation has because I'm gonna be in the car for maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes tops, you know, and that's 10 minutes there, 10 minutes back, or even less than that when I'm going to pick up my kids. But if I'm gonna be spending any given amount of time in the sun, or even if I'm gonna be going on, um, let's say let's say I'm gonna go visit my, my in-laws and I'm gonna be two and a half, three hour drive, then I'm definitely gonna be putting on heavy sunblock because I know, you know, because because I know what the sun can do to my skin. So um, so this is a perfect solution for somebody like me who does not like to mess with the greasy thickness of <laughs> your typical sunblock. Um, and it's really neat. Now, I only use it on my face and my neck and my, <laughs> my upper chest. I don't know why. I don't like saying the word decollete. I feel like it's, I don't know, I don't even know what origin that comes from, but it sounds like, you know, maybe French or something like that. And I don't know why, I feel silly even using that word. So I always say my upper chest. Okay, so let's get back to the product. Um, okay, so I purchased this and I actually purchased it on Amazon. You can purchase it through the company's website. Um, and on their website, it was about $65. Now on Amazon, I think it was like 42 or 45, somewhere around there. And um, 
And so I purchased it on Amazon. Now, before I purchase anything, I go in and I read all the reviews. And um, I do not read the reviews from the products website because I feel like those are filtered reviews and they're very biased and stuff like that. I like to go to Amazon and I like to read um, other people's reviews that are completely unbiased and just really authentic and um, you know their truthfulness and stuff like that. So, um, so that's what I did. And there's tons and tons and tons of reviews on Amazon and most people seem to rave about the effectiveness of this product and protecting your skin against, um, you know, sunburn and sun damage and stuff like that. And I can tell you, I personally did a little test. Um, I knew I was going to be working out in the front of my house, um, just cleaning up the driveway and the bushes and everything and the porch and blah, 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 and putting up some Halloween stuff, just very little Halloween stuff. But, um, but I knew I was going to be out there for, you know, a couple hours tops and so I put a little bit on my back and then of course I put sunblock my regular cream sunblock everywhere else and um, and it was very effective I did not get any sun any color any nothing in that spot I wasn't gonna do it on my face <laughs> I wasn't dare gonna risk my you know face getting sunburned just in case it didn't work but but um, and plus I was wearing sunglasses and a hat and everything else and my back usually sees more of the sun whenever I'm sweeping and cleaning and blah blah blah. So anyways, um, so everybody seems to rave about the effectiveness of the product. Now the complaint that I read most of, and it's a complaint that I also have, is the delivery system. And let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like um, outside of the box. And um, the concept is really... Is a, it's a very, very cool concept. I really like the concept of the delivery system. However, I just don't think that um, they implemented it as well as they thought that they did. I don't, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to explain, but let me just show you what I mean. Um, so right down here is just all the mineral powder and, you know, the SPF. And it comes in this little vial, and this is actually replaceable. So you can reorder, rather than reordering the whole thing, you can reorder just um, a little vial of the, um, the mineral powder. Um, so when you take it off, it looks like this, and then this retracts, and it had a little rubber band around it, but I just took it off. Now, um, the way to get the product out is they say that you just need to rub, 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 rub in circles until you start seeing the product dispense. Now, sometimes it takes a little while. It took me a little while, actually. I was like, is it ever going to come out? Um, but I couldn't tell. It was so faint that I was like, I can't tell. And if it's coming out or not, and I'm not dare about, I'm, I'm not gonna dare trust that it is um, on my face. So, and then they say, you know, take your finger and go like that, and you could see, I don't know if you guys saw that, you can see all the powder come out. So it's definitely working. It's just that when I put it on my face, I was having a hard time seeing the product come out onto my skin. And it's got this really beautiful color. It's kind of, it almost has a little bit of yellow undertones, but my skin has very yellow undertones, so I actually like that. Um, so what I did instead is I wanted to be really sure that I was getting an adequate amount of product on my skin. So what I did is this opens up from the bottom. You just unscrew it, just like this, and it comes off. Now, you need to be very careful that you screw it on really good. I remember one of the complaints that I read was that um, she didn't screw it on good enough, obviously, and it dumped out all into her purse. And that's, you know, you don't want to be wasting a $65 mineral foundation on, on, at the bottom of your purse. So anyways, I put it, put it in just a little travel container like this, and I just dumped a little bit of it in there so that I can see it really, really well. And I'm not going to be able to show it to you very well, but oops. Like I said, it's kind of a yellowish base, but it doesn't look really yellow when you put it on. Um, or I don't know, maybe it does. So what I do is I just put it in, in a little container like that, and then um, I actually put this on before I put on um, before I put on my regular powder, and then a little bit, just a little baby bit at the very very end after I put on my bronzer and everything else. Now this is a light, and I feel like the colors run a little darker because. When I purchased light, I was thinking, oh God, it's going to be way too light. And then I thought, you know what, I'm going to put it under my regular powder anyways and under my bronzer. Um, but it's really not necessarily, and it comes out to be a really beautiful color. But I still like to put a little bit of powder on top of it. Um, but I take a good amount like that, and then I just kind of dot it on my face. I don't want to lose any of it. I feel like this stuff is gold to me. <laughs> so I dot it like that. Maybe I should move it in a little bit. I think that's good. And then I'll just spread it around. 
and it, it winds up, it doesn't really leave much of a color at all on your skin, you see that? But it's really neat because it's just a one step, you know, powder and SPF <laughs> application. A two in one, you know, I think that's really, really neat. And you know what, I'm gonna put it right here on my chest so you can see, so you can really see the color. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit too. Okay, so I'm gonna apply it to my chest so you can get a good indication of just kind of how well it covers. Um, now my chest is quite a bit of a different color than my neck and my face. It's just got a lot of sun damage and I'm really trying to address that right now. But um, I just wanna give you an idea. So my chest is also a little bit scaly, so it's obviously gonna to apply to your face and the skin on your face a little bit better. But um, let me just show you what it looks like. And I dot it like that. I don't ever tap it off because I'm not trying to waste any. This is too expensive to go wasting. So then just blend it around like that. And, and as you can see, you can see that there's obviously some coverage there, you know? It's really cool. Let's just put a little bit more right here and right here. So it's really neat. Not only is it a powder, <laughs> And it, it has some coverage there, but, but then it's also an SPF, so it's like a two-in-one. So I just really think this product is so cool. Look at that, that actually looks pretty nice. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of this video. Um, like I said, you can purchase this product from the Color Science website for about $65 for the SPF 50. Um, now, I purchased it on Amazon for about, I want to say it was $45. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that link below. Now, I know a lot of people are really leery when it comes to purchasing products off Amazon because of that price difference. But you have to understand that when a company comes to a product line and they say, hey, I would like to distribute you know, your product, um, the product line has to allow for differences in prices. Um, obviously, if, if the distributor was selling this product for the same exact price as the product line, um, everybody's going to purchase it from the product line. You understand? So you, these product lines have to allow for certain price cuts. Otherwise, there's no incentive for somebody to distribute, you know, their product. So, and also, you can always check to see how reliable and how trustworthy um, certain websites are. I mean, that kind of information is really, really easy to find out. So, um, so you just need to find out, you know, their reputation, how reputable they are. Um, so, anyways. Like I said, I'm going to put that link in the description box below where I purchased it, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the color science link also. Okay, so that is the end of this video. Um, I really appreciate your time. I appreciate um, you watching, and um, I will see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.